So let's get started. Um, this is the uh, the first day of the uh, the Rank Hat School, but also the uh, QLS 612 uh, course. So welcome for both uh, of uh, you, um, uh, all of you uh, who are either uh, attending the QLS 612 and, or the Rank Hat School, and most of you are actually attending both. Uh, so my name is Jean-Baptiste Pauline. I'm a professor at McGill and. Uh, 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 we usually work in neuroimaging, reproducibility problems, open science, and uh, sharing data infrastructure and, and these sort of things. So a quick uh, outline for my introduction to this course. Uh, first of all, uh, those are special circumstances. I hope again that everyone is, is fine and uh, your close ones are fine as well. I'll go quickly on the objectives of the course and uh, who is the course for and uh, who have, have registered to the course. Uh, a quick overview of the schedule, the logistic, uh, the assessments uh, for those who are taking the course for credit, and uh, the team. Uh, I know the um, introduction to the Brain High School will be done by uh, Pierre uh, just after this, uh, this introduction. So, special circumstances, obviously, <laughs> it is an online course, no, no need to repeat that, but um, uh, this uh, impacts the way we will do things a little bit. Uh, and some things I think will get a bit will be a bit harder. Uh, for instance, uh, when we used to do this course uh, in person last year, uh, it was easy for someone to come up and say, "Hey, I've got a problem. Of, uh, uh, can I show you something on my screen?" Uh, this is going to be possible with the breakout rooms, and uh, we'll uh, go into the exercise of doing that. I think to, uh, hopefully during the installation uh, period. Uh, but this is probably going to be a bit harder, so uh, just uh, bear with us, uh, be patient, and uh, and uh, and everything. And we'll try our our best to help uh, any student who has uh, uh, issues or questions. Um, again, asking for informal advice and uh, you know just chatting and doing the connection and all those things are also a bit different uh, this this year. Uh, but. Uh, uh, again, uh, we try to make the use, uh, best of the use of the uh, uh, of the online resources that we have, and see how we can uh, make that happen, anyways. And obviously, you have uh, your home, uh, your family, maybe your uh, circumstances in which you are not always uh, in the best uh, place to, you know, subtract yourself from your environment, and uh, maybe your internet is not that good. So all those things uh, we will take into account and, uh, and we'll try to be uh, as accommodating and as, uh, 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 as flexible as, as we can uh, in this course. Um, so yes, we'll adapt. We'll adapt. Uh, obviously we'll get more online help for, for sure. Uh, we also, uh, I will, you know, have revised a little bit so that, that uh, the, the um, it's already, uh, the content of the course is a bit uh, more slow paced a little bit. Uh, hopefully you, you'll have enough to be happy and uh, learning, uh, but that's, um, but we, we make sure that, you know, these, uh, those things are less, uh, less packed than they used to be. All the material are, are, uh, is online, of course, uh, assessments are going to be online, but also uh, I will go over that, uh, the assessment for those who Taking, are taking the course for credit are uh, both online and also there will be a, a little uh, uh, exercise uh, to be done uh, uh, after the course, uh, a little assignment. Uh, so our objectives uh, is really to, uh, are really to give you some fundamental tools and concepts for data science or how to analyze the neuroscience data and neuroimaging data. Uh, that's not an easy objective um, because we want to have something which is practical, something that is really your toolbox for analyzing data, uh, but also to give you uh, some principles and some, some things that are you know, beyond just you know, being able to launch a specific command or know a specific package and so on. Uh, it's uh, everything in terms of the tool and, uh, and programming and aspect, uh, everything is going to be in Python. That's one of the objectives of the course that uh, uh, you're going to learn Python a bit more if you don't uh, have that knowledge yet. Uh, and you're going to uh, be more uh, uh, proficient and, uh, and, and be able to actually quicker, be quicker into developing and also know what's out there, uh, which is uh, 
it's a, it's a it's a vast landscape and <laughs> vast territory so uh, guiding you a little bit on you know what's uh, most useful what is uh, solid what's not and all those things uh, is one of the objective so really it's uh, the course is uh, um, is for people who you know uh, I'll, I'll go over the who, who the course is for uh, later sorry the uh, one of the other objective is uh, to help you develop reproducible projects uh, and reproducible uh, what I call research object uh, uh, that theme of reproducibility is a bit uh, uh, across all the, the days and the, the, the lessons uh, so it's uh, it's to give you tools but also to give you tools that will make you uh, producing uh, more reproducible uh, research. And what I mean by that is uh, something that people can reuse uh, uh, partly and also something that uh, can generalize to other, other tools, other uh, data sets and, and these things. Having those, this concept of reproducibility in mind uh, would be important for, from, uh, for us uh, in, in that course. Uh, Breaking the ice with some of the tools, uh, and as, as I said, be more comfortable in a programming pattern. Uh, and to some extent, you know, there are plenty of problems where you know people would say, "Hey, I, I really don't know how to start with uh, how to uh, to start with this." And and this is really to break the ice with some of those uh, those tools and and packages, and 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 give you at least the first few steps such that uh, you will be able to uh, quickly uh, learn more and, and, uh, and develop something uh, um, uh, for your project. So there's the big question of uh, breadth of debt. Um, the, uh, it is very hard uh, in a short time to give you a lot of debt. Uh, so I think mostly we're going to uh, give you like a, a sort of a, a snapshot of uh, useful things. Um, but some of those things will go actually quite a bit in depth. Uh, so, uh, so we tried our best to have a little bit of the best of the both worlds. It's not possible, of course. So we definitely are more on the uh, on the breadth than on depth. Um, but still, hopefully, you see that you know in some of those uh, lessons, uh, you'll have like uh, some uh, um, deep uh, understanding on on some uh, some of those uh, concepts or tools. So uh, yeah, this is uh, the uh, the spirit. Uh, so who's this course for? And I, you know, like it, because it was online and because it was, uh, we uh, were able to actually onboard more people than we usually do, uh, which uh, we are very pleased with. Uh, at the same time, uh, it means that you know, like uh, there's uh, 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 there's possibly uh, more people actually trying to get some answers and uh, and and not getting the, uh, like so we we'll, you'll have to be a bit patient with the uh, online questions all those things but um the course is uh is for people who have done a little bit of programming so you're not completely lost by a line of code and you're not you know so like a, you have like a little bit of a exposure to those things uh before uh and you're obviously working with neuroscience or neuroimaging data. Um, you, want, you want to learn practically how to analyze data. Uh, and you want to learn you know, why this is the right way or why this is not the right way. And also you are uh, interested in collaborative research. Uh, I think that's, that's uh, an open science research. I think we, uh, this is not a requirement. Uh, this is something that I think uh, when you register to Brent High School, there's a bit of a spirit of a open and collaborative research that uh, hopefully uh, will, uh, um, will be diffusing in that course as well. It's not for you if you are already proficient <laughs> in many of those things and I, I must say that in the, we still we, we we have registered quite a few people who I think are fairly proficient in those things so for those people I will ask uh, that you know do you, you grab what you think is useful for you of course don't be upset if you think oh that's too easy that's uh, that thing I know you probably know it. You know this is uh, we we were we were a little bit uh, like uh, on the verge of uh, refusing people that uh, we thought were a bit too proficient in uh, in in those things, uh, and said you know they will just you know uh, those people will just take what they want and not take what uh, they know already, 
and uh, and I think that's uh, that's how it's going to be. The uh, the fact that uh, all the materials uh, are online uh, makes probably it easy for you to quickly see whether you uh, you want to uh, to be on on one lecture. There's a little bit of a caveat uh, if you're taking the course for credit, uh, please be on the course. I think that uh, that is uh, a, a requirement, uh, even if you're a bit too proficient. Be uh, gentle in the evaluation if you're thinking like, oh, that course was useless, I knew everything. That's because probably <laughs> you wanted to take the course and uh, and uh, and we, I mean, I, I pushed back for a few students and then, you know, when they pushed that, pushed back again, I said, I bothered them, so please um, be uh, um, uh, Remind yourself that you know that's probably because uh, you 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 did want uh, to take the course and uh, so be uh, yeah uh, be patient if you think that some of those material you know already. Uh, I, there are people uh, out there that uh, don't know those material and need that course. Um, that's. Uh, Sorry for the uh, typo. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's for my uh, quick introduction of um, uh, for the uh, this aspect. So, who has registered to the Brain Hack School? Um, uh, you know, this is the type of people who uh, we got, uh, and and the uh, I don't know if you see my uh, mouse. I hope so. Um, if uh, those type of people that uh, yes, I did small program uh, or I modified a bit of scripts and you know like uh, th this is the bar that uh, really mostly we want uh, to uh, uh, to have and obviously some of you have done a bit much more than that. Um, in terms of statistical analysis or data data analysis, uh, there is uh, uh, interestingly. Uh, uh, quite a, a few people uh, who have done like a, a v quite a lot of uh, programming uh, in uh, in statistical analysis, uh, but also uh, uh, some people that have you know like have, have have done very little on that side. So it's interesting that that that, um, uh, uh, that distribution uh, is actually quite good for us. Shell, Bash, uh, MATLAB, Python. So we see that most of the people actually have some exposure in, in Python. Uh, I still think that you will be learning uh, quite a bit in, in this aspect, but uh, this is the distribution. It's interesting that you know the uh, Python is, uh, is, is so strong now in, um, in data analysis. Um, I was a bit surprised by this one, which is the uh, use of um, editor, uh, because it means like, uh, 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 quite a few people actually have never used an, an editor. So that's something that you will probably have to uh, deal with and was in the uh, setup. Uh, so we go again on, on this with the, uh, with the setup. And, the, uh, and I think that's something that some of you will, uh, will learn and will, uh, and that's an investment that you have to do uh, for, the, for your future, I think. Uh, experience with Git GitHub. I was also a little bit surprised by this. Uh, uh, so few, uh, one is representing again. One is the uh, like very little experience, and five is a lot of experience. And uh, and I think that's uh, one of the reproducible and collaborative tool that is very important uh, that we hope that you will get uh, more exposure to. So I, I see that there's quite a few of you, uh, or at least those who registered, that who have. Uh, not that much experience in uh, in Git and GitHub, and, and hopefully this is going to change um, with this course. Uh, experience with Python, it's kind of like a middle distribution. Again, uh, we hope that uh, you know we get you get better at that um, for those who need. Um, and in, that's also an interesting graph. Uh, uh, this is the question of what would be most important for you to learn. Um, tools for writing better program, uh, how to analyze data, obviously, so is a strong Python, not that much, but uh, people probably think that they have uh, enough. I don't think we probably can do better. Uh, visualization technique is strong. Machine learning technique is uh, at the top. Um, and there is going to be a good introduction to this. Um, deep learning a little bit um, and uh, containerized technology. I was very surprised to see both containerized technologies, uh, uh, organization and Git and GitHub to be so low in this. I think that's, uh, even if you don't want to learn that, you probably should learn those things. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to um, uh, have some of uh, uh, this content uh, in this course. I think that's, uh, that's important. Uh, one thing that I haven't uh, done, I realized I should, is look at the questions. Um, and I 
don't actually see the question. If you have any question that you put on, on the chat at the moment, um, I, I'm sorry, I can, cannot see that. So Russ or Jake, uh, if you could just interrupt me, if there are questions that uh, I should uh, answer, like, please uh, just interrupt me because I don't see those questions in my... Uh, sure, we'll, we'll interrupt you. We'll, we'll be monitoring that. Okay, thank you so much. Um, a few uh, remarks on the schedule. Uh, so, yeah, so I think, uh, so to finish that with this, uh, this thing, I mean, uh, I was, uh, it, it is interesting to see that uh, for uh, at me at least, uh, some of the most important uh, aspects of uh, what should be learned are uh, not, not that desirable to, uh, uh, to many students or less desirable. I mean, I'm, I'm not uh, saying they're not desirable, they're less desirable than other things. And I think that reflects uh, you know, some of the, uh, um, how we, we do our work these days. Remarks on the schedule. Um, so this is the course introduction with uh, Pierre. Uh, we'll, uh, uh, we'll introduce the Brent High School. Um, <clears throat> From the uh, 10 to 11 lecture, uh, I will give uh, an overview of some of the reproducibility problems. And it, this is more like a awareness and uh, a lecture. And I think it, it is to me very important that uh, people uh, understand what uh, you know, the, uh, those, those problems are. <clears throat> And hopefully uh, get uh, get enough of the uh, of this awareness to have the desire to learn the tools and to learn the techniques to to better uh, for the uh, you are the next generation of scientists <laughs> so uh, uh, so you we are relying on you to actually change um, the way we do things. Um, at uh, then we'll have the uh, 11 to 12 uh, setup uh, to ironing all those uh, uh, little things if if your setup is perfect. Uh, uh, you probably uh, have a little bit of a uh, free time there, but uh, at the same time, we, I mean, you, that free time can be used to start to look at the, the material, it'll be always useful. Um, the, uh, there's also going to be, I think uh, Russ will be uh, contradicting me if, you, if that's okay, but like, uh, we'll, we'll also go through the logistic bit of how we use you, Zoom and, uh, and, and the breakout uh, rooms and, uh, and the chat and all those things. So I think uh, that's, that would be an important uh, hour. Uh, and then two uh, very important um, uh, aspects, uh, the, the um, uh, techniques like introduction to the uh, to the uh, bash terminal, shell terminal, so that's um, uh, that's going to be one of the uh, key tools uh, for the future. Uh, introduction to Git and GitHub, and that's uh, that is a, a very important um, uh, lesson that uh, Elizabeth uh, will uh, take on. Uh, tomorrow uh, we will we'll go through a pattern for data analysis uh, introduction, and uh, and and you will uh, hopefully learn uh, quite a bit on, on in that. And then uh, a very, uh, in the afternoon, a very important uh, question on the, um, uh, how do we containerize uh, uh, and what, you know, what's a virtual machine, what's a container, what, how do you containerize uh, things such that we, we can uh, do uh, reproducible uh, pipelines. So that's a, a, a little bit possibly, uh, some, some one of the tools that we would like you to have uh, at the end of this uh, course. Wednesday, uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, problems of organizing and how do we deal with data and uh, and i think we will have a great lecture on this on this uh, these problems and the tools we can use for a better organization of our data uh, and uh, and we have the luck to have uh, uh, elizabeth doing this but also the next one is uh, uh, Chris uh, Markovich, who has been de developing a lot of the BEADS um, ecosystem, and so we'll give you uh, not only some uh, uh, you know good uh, practical aspect of the of the uh, uh, of the BEADS ecosystem, which is the, the our neuroimaging uh, open science ecosystem, uh, which is so so useful, uh, but also give you a bit of a use feedback of experience um, um, having developed uh, a lot of this ecosystem. Or participate in, 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 in a major way in this ecosystem. Uh, data visualization with, with pair holds uh, is such an important topic uh, and something that uh, uh, you've seen uh, people want to learn about. Uh, and uh, introduction to machine learning, so to be like a, uh, this is uh, 
uh, and you know the the way they, that goes is that you really have a you know look at your data and then you uh, only you know like uh, when you get a, a, some understanding of what's going on uh, I mean or, or you know, like you when you show yourself that your data are correct then you can sort of like uh, uh, start to um, get on with the work of uh, possibly predicting things uh, and. Uh, and so um, Stephanie and, and Jake will be uh, doing this and they have a lot of experience in that. Um, and uh, yeah, be prepared for a good, uh, good time there. Uh, and on Friday, uh, uh, we have uh, Black Richard, who is a, a, a very well-known person in uh, deep learning. They've given us uh, uh, some introduction to deep learning, which I think will be uh, very interesting. Uh, and then Jakub has uh, spent a lot of his time uh, doing deep learning and, and in application and will uh, give us uh, his feedback on this. I will uh, either do this, but we probably will have a, a guest lecture as well on a bit more advanced machine learning techniques uh, with uh, Gael Varroco. And then uh, I probably will do a, a quick um, uh, sort of a more philosophical or uh, thinking of uh, the epistemology aspect of, um, uh, of, uh, of of statistical testing and and, uh, and data analysis. Uh, that depends a bit of, uh, and then uh, the Friday afternoon has been left uh, open uh, by design. It's, uh, we'll see uh, through polls and through your feedback, um, what is, uh, but it's key to you that you uh, you haven't grasped from the first uh, from the lectures, and you want to have like a, a refreshment and uh, and and more on. Uh, last year, for instance, we did another hour and a half of uh, of Git GitHub request aspects, and I was uh, and many people found that very useful. So we'll adapt a little bit. Uh, on this uh, on this side of things, so uh, be uh, and obviously that's again uh, is going to be not uh, you know hundred percent of the uh, students will uh, uh, need or want to take that, but um, I think that's uh, uh, that leaves us a bit of a flexibility uh, to uh, respond to your demands or your requests. Uh, and then uh, I forgot to talk about the assessments. There's one on uh, Tuesday. Uh, afternoon at the end of the day and there's one on the uh, on uh, Friday uh, as well uh, so those are quizzes uh, I think I have a slide on the assessment so I'll go over that uh, after but uh, those are quizzes uh, and um, and they should uh, uh, and those are important for the people taking the course for credit uh, logistic. Uh, so I think again some of this will be repeated and uh, go into details with uh, uh, the setup moment, but uh, that the communication will be a lot by Slack. Uh, I think we, if we can avoid emails, uh, I mean, you probably should, uh, uh, and also make sure that you try to select the most appropriate channels uh, and the, uh, which, you know, sometimes <laughs> we are, we are we're not uh, thinking. So there are channels that have uh, some design, uh, some uh, purpose, and uh, please try to use those channels. Uh, the Zoom uh, information is there. Obviously, if you are on the Zoom, you had this information, uh, but just check the schedule channel just in case uh, that information, uh, the password or things are changing. That this is uh, our Slack will be our you know, entry point for information of uh, uh, the, the logistic and, the, and those things. We will have to avoid Zoom bombing, so be careful not to uh, sort of like uh, spread those information. Um, and again, the on the how to ask questions. So I think uh, mostly I would like to see for this week that the, uh, if you have questions on the current uh, uh, the current presentation or something that is you know uh, related to the content of the of the week. Now this is more like something for the uh, on the on the Zoom, uh, and you uh, like it's more like a direct. You are on the Zoom as as in your room uh, in in person. Uh, and if you want to uh, have like a more general or some uh, some of things, uh, you can al always use Slack. But uh, please start uh, for the current presentation. I would say uh, start to use the uh, the Zoom uh, messaging chat. And uh, and if you want to, uh, you know, like a more general or more like, a, uh, then you, I think you could uh, you can definitely use uh, the Slack channels as well. Um, Zoom breakouts, uh, I think uh, that's uh, something that we will be using and uh, training a bit. And so we'll see how that goes. Uh, you, you must realize that we learn as you do with those, techn those technologies. So like uh, we've uh, tried things a bit, but uh, uh, 
uh, be patient if we have like um, uh, things to sort out uh, on, on, on this side. Uh, Zoom has a lot of uh, capacities, but um, not everything that is perfectly aligned to what we would like. Uh, so uh, we have to uh, do the best with what we have. Uh, all the material for week one is on this uh, OSF um, or will be uh, at least, uh, you know, like a material that are, uh, should, you should find the material the day before uh, for the day after. Uh, and this uh, osf.io slash uh, 3kvzu. And uh, uh, I don't think this is an acronym, but uh, <laughs> we can think of an acronym. Um, and this, uh, and in, in there, you'll, you'll find all the material for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, uh, for the course. Assessments, I said I was going to say a word on it. Uh, so quizzes uh, Tuesday and Friday. Uh, and then a few hour project, few hours project will be assigned to you on Friday. Uh, and I've put the deadline to be May 31st. Again, it's going not going to be a long uh, you know, assignment that will take uh, days uh, because we want you to be, uh, to have the time for the Brain High School. But uh, this, uh, so that's going to be uh, uh, hopefully, I mean, uh, I, I suppose uh, uh, we design it for to be uh, only for a few hours. Uh, so I'll uh, send that instructions by email or maybe make a specific Slack channel for the credit uh, people. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but uh, expect that information before the end of the week. The team, uh, I, we, you are so fortunate to have like a, such excellent uh, team. Uh, I would like uh, to thank so uh, uh, Russ, Elizabeth, Pierre, Jake, uh, so Pierre obviously have uh, also people uh, working and helping, uh, Loic uh, 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 and others. And we uh, are really fortunate because uh, those people have uh, extremely good competencies uh, and are willing to help and, uh, and uh, help you learn. Uh, so I would just want to say like a very, very warm uh, thank you uh, to all the uh, uh, participants uh, in, the, um, in the instructors, as well as the instructors that are going to be coming. But those people are more involved in helping you uh, on the day-to-day, -day, on our to our basis. Uh, and, um, and really, I uh, would like to give a big thank um, uh, at this moment. Uh, I think that's my short introduction. Uh, I have this slide, but I think this is something that, uh, Pierre, you're going to go over. Uh, so uh, uh, I would like to maybe to take a couple of questions first and then uh, hand it over to Pierre for the introduction to the, uh, the more general uh, Bank High School and uh, some um, its, its philosophy, its history, and uh, it, its take on it. So Pierre has been the uh, the fearless leader of this of these things and uh, uh, it's, it's been such a success and uh, it's such an interesting experience for both instructors and students that uh, it's it's uh, it's great um, and uh, yeah it's uh, it's awesome uh, so if I can take a few questions if there are any uh, I will now if uh, if not I will so we uh, have a question uh, could you please go over the material on OSF could I please go over the material on OSF? Yes. Uh, so if you go on OSF, so let me uh, take that. Um, So, uh, if you go on OSF, whoops, sorry, there you go. Okay, you will, uh, let me share that screen. Uh, how do I switch? Um, let me switch the um, the screen, the window. Hmm. Second. There you go. Uh, uh, 
There we go. So uh, if you see that screen now, it's a bit annoying that I can't see what you can see. We can we can see the Q, uh, yeah, the OSF screen. Okay. So in that in that uh, uh, address OSF.io three K V Z U, uh, you find this uh, this material. I mean this um, uh, OSF project. Uh, in this OSF project, uh, you can um, let me. Oops. Go and see the files, and the, in the files, go into the uh, GitHub uh, Neuroscience course material uh, sort of a uh, uh, tab here, and you click on lectures. Uh, and in for all the lectures, you all you every for every day, you, you can like uh, open that uh, lecture tab, and you, you will find my uh, quick introduction here in this. Uh, the one course introduction, and then the second, uh, the second lecture here, and and so on. So, uh, so this is, uh, for instance, if I go there, uh, you will find the PDF of that. Uh, uh, so you may you may have to go to the um, to the to the GitHub place, but this is where you will find the uh, you will find the, the place where the lectures are. Uh, so that's uh, that should give you uh, uh, the integration is not entirely. Perfect. So, uh, so for instance, if I go on lecture um, and uh, and you, you find like a so that that specific lecture that I was trying to access, for instance, I'll show you how to make sure you can access it. Um, so here, uh, if I click on it and like it doesn't open, uh, you should be able to. Okay, um, no. Uh, sorry, so that's a little mistake. Uh, <laughs> so what uh, what we will do is we we'll make sure that we have like a, in the, in this tab we have at least the web address where you can find the lecture. Uh, apologize for this, um, or we're going to put it on the uh, on the uh, on the storage directly. Uh, I don't know if uh, Ross or Jake or uh, do you have any uh, remarks on that. Uh, I mean, the integration works well, but that apparently uh, you can not get the PDF. Uh, so the, that's PDF. Oh, okay. So I've got, I've got the, uh, so you see that uh, GitHub um, uh, place here. So it's on, uh, if I go on uh, GitHub, uh, uh, data neuros, uh, neuro, neuro data science, your data science, oops, not this one. Your data science course 2020 uh, course. Oops. Course material. Uh, and if you go there, then you have, uh, if you go in that, uh, that GitHub repo, it should mimic uh, what you see on the OSF. So in this one, you get all the, uh, the, uh, inform the, uh, the, the slides. So if I go there and then I click on this one, then I will be able to see uh, and download uh, that, um, that uh, PDF. Uh, apologize. We thought that the uh, OSF was going to integrate better with uh, GitHub. It, um, it's, uh, so if you again, if you don't find uh, the the link directly working on OSF, please go on the uh, GitHub repo that is in the Neurodata Science Course Material 2020, and we'll put that on the chat and on the um, on Slack as well. Is there other questions? If not, oh, I see plenty of chat. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I don't see other questions after the, could you go over the material on OSF? Um, again, we, we may be able to tweak a bit to OSF and uh, please uh, watch your, uh, uh, your chat and your Slack channels for information. Uh, 
it's a, it was a little bit probably experimental, uh, but um, a useful thing to have to actually use OSF as uh, an entry point for your project. I think that's, uh, that's something that is partly was uh, going to be some of the, uh, the teaching we wanted to do. <laughs> uh, and also see the limitation of that. Um, if uh, we're okay, I think Pierre, uh, I would love to give you the floor.